Welcome back to Yahoo Finance. Two of the dominating themes here at Barclays Global Tech Conference is AI and cybersecurity. So let's talk a little bit more about how AI is reshaping the cybersecurity landscape and also what we could expect in terms of some of the themes for cybersecurity in the new year. And I want to bring in Shlomo Kramer. He's a co-founder and CEO of Cato Networks. Shlomo, it's great to have you here. Thanks so much for taking the time. Thank you for having me. So let's talk about the impact of AI on cybersecurity. Right. What exactly has that impact been so far? So I think the um, uh, two dimensions to the impact. One is new types of attacks, mm -hmm. right? Mainly a deep fake and how do you know this is real or not? That's becoming a much bigger problem with an AI. And the second is just industrialization of attacks, right? So if it's a human being behind the attack, there's a certain pace to the attack. If it's an AI machine, that becomes much faster and much broader, much more quickly. So really the defenses needs to keep pace with both new types of attack and new scale of attacks. And how are you doing that at Canada? By using AI, of course. Which is so interesting. So when we talk about the fact that we are using AI to kind of fend off some of the risk that AI right. poses, how are you doing that? And I guess in real time, how much more effective is it for you at Cato Networks in terms of recognizing some of those attacks? So first of all, AI for us is not new at Cato Networks. Mm -hmm. We've been using AI since day one as a cloud service, as a, the largest uh, uh, SASE provider in the world. We use the AI from day one to collect all the data from our customers and run algorithms and find uh, attacks. So this is uh, uh, just a continuation, and now with the large language models, which is the next generation of AI, this is very much part of our uh, roadmap and what we embed uh, uh, in our solution. So, so that's uh, uh, an ongoing, like a red queen race, if you want. You have to run as fast as you can in order to stay in the same uh, place against the uh, attackers. And how would you categorize, you're a veteran of the industry, you've been around for many right. new breakthroughs, many new technologies. In terms of what AI is doing to your industry, more broadly speaking, touching almost every single industry, comparing that to some of the innovations in the past, how does it stack up? That stacks up with the iPhone and with the personal computer and with the internet, I think. That's at, at that level of uh, um, importance. So absolutely, that's a real revolution and we are just beginning that revolution. When it comes to demand for your business, your business has grown dramatically over the last several right. years. Right now you have about 150 million, I believe, in recur annual recurring revenue. More than that, yeah. Um, okay, so more you have than, more than that. More than 2,000 enterprise customers, yeah. So, so going off of that in terms of how quickly you've been able to scale your business, what's the next step, do you think, for Cato Networks? I think that f uh, for us, we are uh, both going up market mm -hmm. and delivering the powerful simplicity of SASE to larger and larger enterprises, and we are expanding uh, the value of our platform. Really, uh, more capabilities delivered with zero TCO to our existing customers, so we can really partner and be more strategic for them. And when it comes to some of those partnerships, even some of your customers here, you have a bunch of uh, very recognizable names when it comes to Carlsberg, Porsche, Formula E, Ring right. Central. In terms of their priorities, where they right. lie, what are you hearing from them just in terms of the biggest risks that they are a bit fearful of and how you then can help mitigate some of those risks? You know what? I think that the, the biggest risk for them is mm -hmm. complexity. Is the, I don't know if any, uh, if you ever been to the RSA show and saw all the thousands of boots uh, that uh, now you need to consume all these point solution. The complexity is the danger. And when the CIO of Carlsberg uh, tells me that we are the apple of uh, network security, that tells everything. It's all about the how and the how to consume all of these capabilities more than exactly uh, the what. The what is there, the how is not there in cybersecurity. So what does that mean then just in terms of growth then, the opportunity that lies ahead, the fact that there, right. that there is such a need for this and it almost right. sounds like we're still very much in the early innings. Exactly, so it's all about the platform, right? And, and delivering a platform that can bring more and more what, more and more capabilities without additional cost and additional complexity. Uh, to the customers, and that's the, uh, uh, the vision of SAS in general and Cato in particular. 
And so when you've been around the industry for quite some time, very successful in terms of your previous uh, entrepreneurship companies that you founded, taken public, Checkpoint Software, Imperva, both of those companies you have taken public. Do you have plans to do that for Cato? So I think that Cato is, can be a very large leading next generation security company. And uh, uh, going public is a milestone in that direction. So we're definitely preparing the company uh, uh, to be a public company. Is it something that you're maybe considering for 2024? It really depends on the market. You know, uh, we can do so much about our execution, but the market also needs to be there.